Welcome back to Church Production. I'm Marcel Patillo. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at the Black Magic Cloud Store Mini, an extremely capable and very convenient hard drive solution for editors, colorists, directors, freelancers, and even more so for churches. So we're gonna take a look at what makes this something that your church probably needs. So one thing you may know or may not know about me is by day I am the creative videographer at a church called Church of the City. We have three locations. We have one here in Franklin, Tennessee, and then just south of here we have Church of the City Spring Hill, and then up north in downtown Nashville we have Church of the City Downtown. Uh, I work in a global creative team that works for all campuses on creative initiatives, and I do a lot of things there. Everything from filming and editing our daily devotionals to uh, lyric videos and music videos, or just recaps of summer camps or winter camps or kids camps. And this of course includes Sunday mornings. We have 10 cameras in the sanctuary, which I'll use our black magic shading boards to color. And then sometimes I'll direct, and of course there's media management and making sure that all the decks are recording all the cameras and we store them on something called a NAS which is a network attached storage uh, and a NAS is great to store all this b-roll we shoot to store all the devotionals to store all of our Sundays but the one problem with the NAS is if I'm not at the church I cannot access the footage from the NAS and of course there could be ways around that and ways that we could kind of rig it to uh, be able to access it remotely. But that's where something like this can be extremely useful if you don't need 200 terabytes of storage, which most people probably don't. So the Blackmagic Cloud Store Mini is a mini version of something that they have bigger versions of. This one only has eight terabytes, which is a good amount of storage depending on how much you shoot and what you need it for. Because one thing that does that's really convenient is the second you plug in any kind of media to it, it automatically starts uploading to either a Google Drive or a Dropbox, however you have it set up, and it backs it up on here as well. Therefore, if this stays at the church, then I still have the footage on the Dropbox or the Google Drive. And when I get home, I can access it, I can download it. If I have a second one here at home, I could easily have have them sync to where everything that gets uploaded from the church downloads to this one at home and by the time I get home I'm ready to edit. So within the package you have a, a neat little welcome card from Black Magic Design reminding you that you can get DaVinci Resolve for free on their website. Definitely check that out and then go to the Modern Filmmaker to learn how to use it. And then you have of course the Black Magic Cloud Store Mini which this thing looks nice. It feels nice. Um, it feels solid. On the inside, the kind of storage it uses is solid state storage. It actually uses M.2 drives on the inside, which are the fastest drives that you can get uh, that aren't soldered onto a board. And M.2 drives are like long microchips, uh, so almost like RAM sticks is what they kind of look like. Uh, and that is why you can transfer so fast. There's no spinning disks in here, which also leads to longevity for the hard drives because eventually, a lot of the time, the spinning disks will air out or uh, malfunction. But with something like this, you're gonna have a lot more longevity as well as that speed that spinning discs just can't touch. And then on the back of this, you have a few ports. You have two different power plugs for some versatile power options. You have a 10 gigabit ethernet, which is what makes this so fast when you plug it into your network or a computer. You have a one gigabit ethernet connection. You have an ethernet port via USB-C, and then you have a monitor out because you can just plug a monitor into this Thing. You don't even have to have it plugged into a computer for it to do what it does. Uh, and then in the front, what it really does is once you plug media into this front USB port, it's a USB-C on the front, it automatically starts dumping the files onto here and then uploading them to a cloud source like Google Drive or Dropbox. After every service, we have to back up all the cameras and all the files from the stream. And we usually have these decks where you know we plug things in and then one at a time we offload. And one at a time we offload. One at a time we offload. Now one thing we could do is just plug in one of those decks to this system and then it would just offload for us, which is super fast, super convenient, and you don't have to do any clicking. If we're working on a big project where I need to take home a lot of footage, I can have this thing back it all up and then just bring this home. And if I have to work throughout the weekend, I can just work right here from this thing, not having to take up any more hard drive space on my own hard drives in my computer or the extra hard drives I have here at home. I can just have this one thing and edit off of this at all times and move it from here to there, from there to here 
it couldn't get easier than that. So with its very fast 10 gigabit ethernet port, you could have this going out to an ethernet switcher that's 10 gig and then have that going out to multiple computers. And so with DaVinci Resolve's collaborative workspace, the editor could be hooked up to this, laying down clips. I could be coloring those clips accessing this as well at the same time as he's laying them down. And then our graphic designer could be making slides and throwing them on here for us to access to bring into our edits, which is pretty awesome. I have to say that this gets a big thumbs up, A plus, when it comes to a church workflow, really any kind of workflow. The ability to be able to plug in Hyperdeck straight to this and as you're recording, it's dropping them on here and your editors can access this and edit pretty much as soon as the recording's done is pretty incredible and can keep things very fast, especially if you're trying to pump out social edits while the service is going on. And of course, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you wanna stay updated with new church production gear. And check out churchproduction.com for articles, insights, and information on great new church gear that's coming out all the time. And until next time, we'll see you soon.